Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right, so. This is an exciting video. I love coin grab bags. I, for a while, that was one of the main videos I did was eBay grab bags and I would go through them with you and tell you what you could expect from these type of things. And I have a whole playlist full of those, so check those out if you haven't yet. Um, but then I found I really liked making them as well. Oh, I can't fail to mention that I've also gotten a couple coin grab bags from Marley and T and those were top-notch. In fact, I need to get a hold of her and have a new one made. Hmm. Remind me to do that. Anyhow, I decided I wanted to make a coin grab bag with a specific purpose for one of my long, long-time viewers. He was one of the first uh, people on my channel. I'll absolutely go ahead and say that. One of my first follows on Twitter, Chris W. He's been just the biggest supporter of my channel since day one, basically. And, you know, he's always commenting on my videos. He's always sharing the videos that I post to Twitter. Big supporter. He's, you know, got me into hashtag Saturday Night Coin Show, which is a great, great place to be a part of. If you haven't yet, go check it out. And uh, even early on, I know, I, I don't remember what I'd said in the video, but I was having a bad day, a bad week, a bad, it was, it was just a bad time. And out of the blue, he sends me this coin. Isn't that so cool of him? And this was my, th I think it was my third slabbed coin. So yeah, one of my very first slab coins. It was just a very kind gesture. He wrote me a nice uh, letter along with that. What I'm saying is he's a great guy. So I wanted to do something special for him. And so I decided, well, another thing that he and I have talked about over the years is that we have kids right about the same age and uh, you know, tell him about my son and getting into coin collecting and I'd asked uh, if, if his kid had gotten into coin collecting a little bit and I said, hey, me and Big Penny Haven, my son, we are going to create a coin grab bag for you. I told him about this a long time ago. I wish I hadn't told him about it at that time because if you know anything about kids, it's difficult to get them to do things sometimes. That, that's not their idea at that moment. So I was trying to get him into the video uh, about choosing these coins and whatnot. But at the end of the day, it just worked out better that he and I went through coins together. He chose the ones that he thought uh, this other kid would enjoy the most based on design or, or if there's animals on it, all sorts of things that are just, you know, in the mind of a uh, you know, five-year-old. So, so we had that part done and then I'm going to go ahead and add some more coins in on this video and I'm gonna add few little surprises that uh, will be a surprise for Chris whenever he gets this box. So I'm going to change angle on the camera now and show you the coins that Big Penny Haven chose for this box. Here we go. Ah uh, yes, something else I forgot to mention in my intro is it is just horribly hot here today. So I'm letting the AC, I have a little window AC in my office here because it's the hottest room in the house. So I'm gonna have to let that keep running. I apologize if there's a lot of background noise in this video. Okay. Ah, oh, we've got a uh, Republic of Cuba, 25 centavos. Hello, Republica de Chile. There we go. One peso, 1979. Okay, I believe this is Japanese. There's that one. It's pretty. It's got a flower on it. This is... Ah, Portugal. República Portuguesa, 1986. Ten. Escudos. It's a nice looking coin. Republic of Philippines, 1972. 
25, uh, is it centavos? Oh, Italian. 1979, 50 lira. Repubblica Italiana. And I apologize, Chris, there is a nude man with a hammer and anvil in this coin. If you want to hold that one back for, censor for censorship purposes, I'll understand. Okay. This is, he's got a nice uh, variety here. Uh, Czechoslovakia, 1979. It's got a 70s theme. A woman planting. Five centavos, 94 from ba, 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 Brazil. There you go. A couple more. He, he was very, very adamant about getting this coin in there. He really liked that it, the fact that it had a hole in the center. This is, I believe, Thailand again. Oh, my wife just got home and she's yelling hello from downstairs. Uh, almost done with this part. Ecuador. Ecuador. There it is. Michael! And my son just called me Michael. So this will be the last one. One euro cent. There it is. Big Penny Haven? Is that you, Big Penny Haven? Come here. No. Come here, I want to tell you something. What? You see these coins? Yep. These are the coins that you chose that I'm packing up to send out to that kid, remember? Uh-huh. Do you want to say anything about these coins while the camera's going? No. No? Do you want to say anything to the little kid you're sending them to? No. Just, hi, enjoy the cone. <laughs> hi, enjoy the cones. Hi, enjoy the coins, something like that? No. Okay, cool. Thanks, bro. I'll be done in a minute. Okay. So that's it for now. I have some other stuff set aside. I will come back. I'm not going to put those in there. It's going to be very loud. I'm going to come put those in there later tonight. We'll finish up this video. All right. Thank you for uh, tuning in so far. See you soon. Okay. Time to finish off this coin grab bag box. Ah, one thing I forgot. I bought like a 10 pack of these a while back. I think it was when I had done a giveaway and I did uh, coin grab bags for the giveaway prizes. So I got these for that and I have some left over. So I'm going to put all of these coins in this cool little drawstring canvas bag. These were three more picked out by my son. We've got a George V, George VI, and Elizabeth II British large pennies. I had bags uh, where they were all separated to the different monarchs, and he grabbed these three. I think I've got an Edward VII and a Victorian one as well, so I'm going to grab those two. And I'll just add that to this grab bag. Now, one of my personal goals as a collector and a coin dealer is to put 1909 VDBs in as many hands as I can. I sell these all the time on my eBay store. I generally auction them off. I don't put them up at a set price very often unless they're you know, particularly fantastic shape and I sell slabbed ones over on Facebook quite a bit. Now this one's interesting. It's got like a little color variation right down the middle on the reverse and I do not see the same on the obverse. Interesting. That's going to go in there from me as well as this. My son, one of the first things that he was attracted to in coin collecting was coins with animals on them. And this is one of my favorite animal coins. This is a 1967 Canadian Centennial quarter with the Canadian Lynx on the reverse. And here's uh, that entire set from that year. I love this set. I buy them anytime I can find them reasonably in the singles. So you have the silver dollar with the Canada Goose. You have the half dollar 
with the uh, wolf, Canadian lynx, the mackerel, the hare, and the rock dove. I just take the excuse to show off those sets anytime I can, but she's going to get one of these quarters. I bought uh, like a quarter tube of these a little while ago, so I've got a few of those. I just happen to have this here. I just want to give you a, an even better look at it. Very beautiful coin and a lovely gesture. I think this is from Chris W. I'm pretty sure he had these coasters made like a couple years ago, and I still use this at my desk as my drink coaster all the time. You can see it's seen better days, but just means it's being used. Some silver culls, uh, some US coins. So I'm gonna toss in, I think it's an 1891 seated Liberty dime and a Mercury dime. You know, both worse for wear, but it's cool to have even difficult to make out examples of these coins. So she's gonna have a nice little collection of world coins picked out by my son and a little more silver and some highly collectible coins from me. All right, so that's going to be about it. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to pack this up and I'm going to get it into the mail. So Chris W, be on the lookout. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you to my YouTube channel members. Cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys. The special thing I do for new members is I uh, communicate with you via email and get an idea of what it is you like to collect and then I form the grab bag around that. So here's a scenario. You sign up for one, say two months of membership on, for my channel on uh, YouTube and you get this welcome grab bag that is worth like four or five months worth of membership and you get to see all of my members only videos right then. Think about it. All right. So this is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.